again, a proper fraction, you know, starting it off relatively simple. 832, 5151 equals 0 plus 832 over 5151. Reciprocal, 5151 over 832 equals, well, that goes in six times with the remainder, uh, 832. Let me go through that. 6 times 832, that's 12. 6 times 3 is 18, 19, 49. And let's see, 499, whoops, sorry about that. 5151 minus 4992. That's going to give me a 151 and 8, 159. I think you get the idea. It's tedious, and there's ways to do it. I mean, um, you know, certainly I'll get to that, but the point of this over here is the arithmetic. If you do it and you and you and you steadily go forward in it, you'll you'll get this sequence over here. And to write it down, it's a really beautiful looking sequence, by the way. The last fraction being one third. All right. Then you write these things down over here. I'm just using this form to do that, by the way. If you want to compute a few of these, good for you. That's easy. What's this going to be? 0 plus 1 6. That's easy. What's this one going to be? 0 plus 1 over 6 uh, plus 1 fifth. I can multiply top and bottom by 5. You can get 5 over 31. That's how I'm getting that. So forth and so on. All right, to do a little computation is not a bad idea, by the way. These are pretty easy to generate, though. And what I mean by that, um, certainly on a computer can generate it very quickly, but um, there's other ways of doing it. All right? Thank you.